Prioritization is what we're going to talk about today. My name is Jacob Vols. I'll be your host, and I got this presentation idea from this guy. His name is Dick Hart. He's a Canadian, and basically this is a really fast PowerPoint. Prioritization. What is it? Well, it's to arrange or do an order of priority. So you can either use a list or you can not use a list. This is a list of things that, that high schoolers do. Some of those are productive. Some of those aren't. This is a list of things that I do, but let's break that down a little bit further. I go to school nine hours per day. I do homework for zero hours per day. Back in the fall, I was doing college preparation stuff for about three hours per week. I lifeguard and teach swim lessons for eight to 12 hours per week, and I teach piano lessons for one hour per week. Then we get to music, where I wake up every day at 5.30 in order to get to jazz band. Uh, I spend about 20 to 30 hours per song when I arrange music for the jazz combo and for the jazz band. See, look, it's my name. I arrange this. And I stick around after school for impressions, vocal jazz, as well as the jazz combo. I uh, spend one hour per week with this guy so I can learn how to do this. And I'm also in concert band, so look, I'm right there. It's an awesome face. I was in two all-state jazz bands this year, which took me out of three days of school. And I'm in pep band, which makes me a total nerd. And I'm in concert choir. And I was in the pit for the musical, which led to those awesome costumes. So basically, every weekend ever I spend doing music stuff. And I've missed about an eighth of the school year as a result of music. But... Even bigger than that, we have church, which is 40 hours per month. This is my church, Silver Creek Family Church. We are right next to Linwood Food Bank. We used to own them before they formed a, formed a coup, and they've uh, refused to pay their mortgage. This is my mom. She's the executive director of ministries. This is my uncle. He's the worship director, so I'm pretty involved there. Uh, this is uh, Fusion, the family ministry multimedia production, where I am the media director. I'm also the tech director for the children's ministry base camp, and I'm on the board for the student ministry called Fuel. I'm also a coach for the church-run international soccer Academy and I go on missions trips every year. We've gone to San Francisco, New York, Mexico, and El Salvador, which is the murder capital of the world. I show up every Sunday at 7.30 to play bass with the worship team, and then I come back in the evening to do youth group, as well as to play bass with the youth worship team, which I also help lead. And then I do some miscellaneous events such as this, uh, preparing the jazz combo, uh, Christmas jazz combo for the Christmas tree lighting. Uh, there's a few other things that I do, like uh, most notably I run a political Twitter account, it's at Javel's Politics. You should follow me, I'll give you a second to write that down. Follow me, okay, going, going, gone. So, you may be wondering, how do I do all that? That's a ton of stuff. Well, basically I don't. I screw everything up, I take a lot of meds. Don't do that. Bad idea. So, how do we prioritize then? Well, you may have seen this graphic floating around on Facebook, and this is going to tell you how to prioritize. You have good grades, sleep, social life, and you can only choose two of them. Uh, so those are some different options that you can choose. Wait just a second. No, that's not good. This is actually how it is. You have a graph, and you can invest certain amounts of effort into different categories. So, just like that. This is how a balanced person might live their life, prioritizing good grades first and then the other two. This is currently how I am structuring my life, which is super, super awesome. But let's go back to this for a second because we were gonna talk about why are those the three categories that are chosen? Well, grades are important so that we can get that. Social life is important so we don't end up like that. And sleep is important so we don't end up like that. I forgot those last two, so that's super not good. Don't do that. So what do we do then? Well, sometimes there's obvious choices of when to prioritize things, like last week I was faced with spend 30 hours arranging a song that will never be performed, or doing this English project that you're listening to right now. Well, I chose that one. Uh, uh, the next one was go to a casino and not spend any money, or do this English project. Chose that one again. Uh, and then stare at a wall for two hours or do this English project. Unfortunately, I chose that one. Last night I was faced with the choice, fail this English project or stay up till two and half ass it, and that's the one that I chose. Don't do that. So. How do you prioritize? Well, let me tell you. Just kidding. I have no idea. Just like this guy. Just kidding again. It's demonstration time. We're going to use three things to do a demonstration. I have a bin, I have rocks, and I have some sand. This is your life bin. This is how you prioritize your life. You have school, you have church, you have music for me, and then there's sleep. And social life is important so we don't end up like this. We also have sand, which is uh, the filler stuff, like political Twitter account, uh, watching America's Got Talent, playing FIFA, buying stuff, learning how to flip pens, and watching Crash Course Economics videos. Uh, it's basically that list of things that I showed you earlier. So currently, this is how I'm running my life. Obviously, the sand's going to go in first. Then I'm going to put in music, church. School's going to kind of come out of the top. That's not good. And then sleep. Oh, I'm going to be kind of tired. Social life gets completely cut out. And then I fill the rest with sand. So I end up like this. I end up without any of that. But this is how you should do it. And this is my plan for the future, actually. Hey, let's put some school in first. Then we're going to put some other things that are important to us in. And then we'll fill in the sand in the cracks. Yay, it works for everyone. But what happens if we already screwed everything up? Well, I showed you this graphic earlier, but it's actually pretty awesome. There's two axes. There's urgency. There's importance. You put your to-do list in this and everything becomes super clear. Aller clear. 
I do this uh, just about every month when I start to look like that and when I start to take too many of those. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned a lot about me, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of awesome. But we also learned how to arrange your do in order of priority. Or rather, not to. Don't be like me. Prioritization.